Hi Team Grade 5, my name is Miss Aliyah Brewster and welcome to another edition of Grade 5 Science. Today's topic is weathering. We will be discussing the effects of the sun, water and wind on rocks. But just in case you're not feeling motivated, remember the words of Marie Curie. Nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. So grab a pencil and a notebook, get settled, we're about to start. Before we discuss the effects of weathering, let's discuss what is a rock. A rock is made up of grains that fit together. Each grain in the rock is made up of minerals, which form a chemical compound. Also, the grains in a rock can be different colors, shapes, and sizes. There are three types of rock. Igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. Let's discuss each type individually. Igneous rocks are formed from magma or lava that explodes out of a volcano. When the magma leaves the volcano, it cools and hardens, forming igneous rocks. Examples include basalt and granite. Most igneous rocks are very hard. Some of the most spectacular rock formations on our planet are made of igneous rocks. There are two types of igneous rocks, extrusive igneous rocks and intrusive igneous rocks. Extrusive igneous rocks cool quickly and as a result, these rocks are fine grain with no crystal growth. However, intrusive igneous rocks are formed from magma that cools slowly and as a result these rocks are coarse grained. Now let's move on to sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are formed over millions of years when sediments which are tiny pieces of rocks and animal skeletons are pressed together at the bottom of seas and rivers. Examples include sandstone and chalk. Some sedimentary rocks contain fossils. Fossils are bones or shells of living things that were buried long ago and have turned into stone. The final rock type we'll be discussing today is metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks are formed when sedimentary and igneous rocks change due to heat or pressure. Examples include slate and marble. Metamorphic rocks are very hard but can be damaged by acids. Did you know that rocks can change its shape, size and grain over the course of many years? Rocks are constantly changing in what is called the rock cycle. It takes millions of years for a rock to change. Here is an example of the rock cycle describing how rocks can change from igneous to sedimentary to metamorphic over time. First, melted rock or magma is sent to the earth's surface by a volcano. It cools and forms igneous rocks. Next, the weather or a river and other events will slowly break up this rock into small pieces of sediment. As sediment builds up and hardens over years, sedimentary rocks are formed. Slowly, this sedimentary rock will get covered with other rocks and end up deep in the Earth's crust. When pressure and heat gets high enough, sedimentary rocks will change into a metamorphic rock and the cycle will start all over again. But one thing to note is that rocks don't need to follow this specific cycle. They may change from one type to another type and back again in no particular order. Now let's move on to discussing the effects of weathering. Weathering has helped to change our landscape. Weathering wears away rocks and soils. Water is often the main cause of weathering, either as rain or ice. Rainwater can easily enter wedges between rocks or sidewalks. If this happens during the cold months, the water may freeze 
and even expand the wedge working its way through to split the rock. Many times you may notice the road has potholes. These can be caused by weathering. Wind can also cause weathering. Over long periods of time, wind can wear away rocks, carrying tiny pieces of rock to new places. This can create amazing landscapes, such as rocks that look like mushrooms. Can you imagine? Sometimes, living things can cause weathering too. Plant roots can wedge their way between rocks, and as the plant grows, the roots increase in size. Eventually, the rock breaks, and it is then carried away by wind or water. Besides weathering, there is another factor that can affect the earth and rocks. This is called erosion. As pieces of the earth are broken down by weathering, they are carried away in the process called erosion. Water is a common way that pieces of the earth are moved to a new location. Wind also contributes to erosion by blowing particles away. Although erosion has helped shape some of the most amazing features on earth, it can be harmful to the environment. When soil is washed away from one place to another, it can carry harmful chemicals such as fertilizers or pesticides. These are dangerous chemicals that can pollute our water supply. Now that you learned about rocks, weathering and erosion, it's time for us to do a quiz. That's right boys and girls, it's quiz time. The first question for today's quiz is what type of rocks are formed from sediments over a really long time? I repeat, what types of rocks are formed from sediments over a really long time? Is it metamorphic rocks, igneous rocks, or sedimentary rocks? Question 2. What type of rocks are formed by great heat and pressure? Is it metamorphic rocks, igneous rocks, or sedimentary rocks? Question 3. What types of rocks are formed when magma or lava cools and hardens? Is it metamorphic rocks, igneous rocks, or sedimentary rocks? Question four, and this is a true or false question. Rocks are constantly changing from one type to another but it can take millions of years. True or false? Question five. What is the process called when the Earth's surface is broken down into smaller pieces? I repeat. What is the process called when the Earth's surface is broken down into smaller pieces? Question 6. List three things that may cause weathering of rocks. List three things that may cause the weathering of rocks. Question 7. Explain how sunlight can cause a crack on the road or in the street. Welcome back. Were you able to get all correct? Let's check. Question 1 was, what type of rocks are formed from sediments over a really long time? The answer would be sedimentary rocks. Question two, 
What type of rocks are formed by great heat and pressure? The answer is metamorphic rocks. Question 3. What type of rocks are formed when magma or lava cools and hardens? The answer would be igneous rocks. One thing to note, igneous, it's a word that means fire or heat. So whenever you think about igneous rocks, you think about volcanoes, right? So igneous rocks are formed from magma or lava when it cools and hardens. Question four. This was a true or false question. Rocks are constantly changing from one type to another type, but it can take millions of years. This is true. Question five. What is the process called when the Earth's surface is broken down into smaller pieces? This process is called weathering. That's right, weathering. Question six. List three things that may cause the weathering of rocks. The first would be water. Next, wind. And we can also say plant roots, which can be classified as a living thing. Question seven, explain how sunlight can cause a crack on the road or street. One seemingly obvious answer is that the sun causes rocks to expand and contract as they are heated and cooled, causing them to break away. Okay, boys and girls, unfortunately, it's time for us to go. I will miss you, but thank you for tuning in and remember the words of Marie Curie, nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. Thank you for tuning in once again and goodbye.